Hello again! Here is our other card for uh, March's uh, virtual workshop. Isn't it so cute? I just love this bunny. Um, this features the stamp set Springtime Joy and it's just adorable. Just adorable. And we're also using um, some of the playful patterns, designer paper, and ribbon. So it's just a nice, sweet, sweet little card. Let's get started here. Put it right there so you can still see it, maybe. All right, we're going to start off with our stamping. We're actually going to do something I don't think of doing quite often, and that's actually stamping my verse right on the designer series paper. And we're just going to stamp this in the upper left corner of this uh, little rectangle here. Super cute. Then we will um, stamp the sweet little bunny here on the stitch scallop or the stitch circle. It's not scalloped. Let's see. And I'm using the Memento Black ink because again, I'll be using my Stampin' Blends. I just love those. And then here's our basket. Let's stamp that as well. All right, let's color these real quick. I've got um, the Light Calypso Coral blend, and I'm just gonna give her some little cheeks. And highlight her nose a little bit. And then color a couple of these flowers. And one of the eggs. So saffron, we will go ahead and this again, I'm just using all the lights today um, because they're just real subtle and perfect for spring. Got some purple posy. I'm actually going to do this front one purple posy because I love lavender and purples, so that's what it's going to be. Oh, I forgot to color. I forgot to color that flower. This is the um, petal pink. And now we'll just do a little touch of green. And I just, I decided to make one of the eggs green um, this time just to tie it in because um, you have to have green leaves in the, her wreath on her head. So I figured that would tie it in a little better if I had some in the basket. Next, I'm gonna fussy cut the basket. should just take a quick little minute here. Get that out of my way. Alright, so we've got our little basket there. Now we're ready to assemble. And this card is super easy. So I've got a Thick Whisper White card base. I have a Calypso Coral mat and also um, a Purple Posy mat. The Purple Posy, um, I actually embossed it with the um, Subtle Embossing Folder, which gives it this great texture. I think you should be able to see that in there pretty well. Leaving it um, just flat, um, you know, unembossed, it just, it just didn't look quite right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and add our greeting. And this goes about an inch from the top edge and about a quarter of an inch to the right. And of course, wherever you put it down, it's going to be just fine. 
And now here's a piece of the Calypso Coral dotted. How pretty that is. And I'm just slightly overlapping the bottom edge of the, um, the big polka dotted piece. Next I'm going to take some of the um, Playing With Patterns ribbon, and this actually is Purple Posy. Um, and it's colored on the edges and it's it goes white in the middle and it's very it's a little sheer and it ties beautifully so again I'm just going to do a knot because it's nice and easy and my fingers don't always want to do bows And a knot always looks good. Bows, not so much. Right, let's trim the edges. There we go. Alright, so you want to make sure you tie your ribbon on before you adhere this piece to the white card base. And I'm just gluing it on flat. Since this ribbon is so thin, um, there's no need to use the dimensionals to pop it up. If you have a thicker ribbon, then I like to use dimensionals just so your, your card base isn't all wonky. There we go. Alright, next we're just going to put this little sweet little bunny on our purple posy scallop circle. This again, I'm just gluing flat. And we're just going to put her right there. And her nose is kind of bugging me, so I'm luckily I still have my color lifter here. Let me just scooch that pink back to the nose. There. You can see it still looks a little wet. That'll dry up, and no one will even be the wiser. All right, so next we'll grab a couple dimensionals for the Easter basket. And put that right here. And our card is done. Isn't that just so sweet and simple? I just I just love it. So there we go. There's our card. We'll see you again soon.